Assalamualaikum, it's your boy Brother Big and this is another brand new episode of The Big Talk. You're and perfectly cool. Hey, what's up y'all? It's Brother Big. Uh, the Big Talk episode baru. Harap korang semua yang tengah menonton ni sihat-sihat. Alhamdulillah. Macam biasa, we're jumping into the uh, first segment and why don't we go now to Biggiepedia. You're and perfectly cool. Yo, this is Bigipedia and macam biasa kita nak review atau bercakap tentang band-band yang ada, yang sedia ada, yang sedang mengganas ah dalam Malaysia. Alright, so we're going to start with today's Bigipedia. It is Patriots. That's right, my buddies from Patriots form in 2008 bergenrakan pop mosh tu tak biasa dengar selalu kan pop mosh they were once called heart attack but rebranded to patriots i'm okay with that okay dianggotai oleh ain on vocals aiman afzal on guitar najmi afifi on guitar muhammad hakimi the buck boy on bass and faizul bong on keyboard and vocals so these particular boys you know they've been around quite some time they are hard workers you know bila cakap pasal hard workers eh this is what dia orang dah dapat up till today so affiliated with uh, universal music and sketch entertainment you know those guys are big all right so dia orang dah pun release one ep and one debut album which is stand off in 2016 uh, the enam lagu and one of the track features david escamilla from crown d empire and paling baru separation in 2020 juga boleh didengar on Spotify dengan 12 lagu. You know my boys uh, they, they're doing very well. The journey yang orang go through is like not smooth sailing but they're there. Hard workers, very friendly people, very easy to approach but bila main atas stage you like macam weh ni dia orang ke? So that's what patriots stand for in a way in my eyes. All right. So all the best to patriots, you know, my boys, I, uh, you got my support, you know, we got the support from the big talk from uh, High Castle Studio and uh, wishing all the best for 2020. Kita orang mengharapkan maybe a tour perhaps ya yeah, dengan album baru ni. So stay tuned for that. All right. So shout out patriots once again and that wraps up Bigipedia because we are jumping in. Kita nak cakap pasal what's hot in the month of February. Let's go. And I'm back again. Okay, kita nak review, nak promo, you know, upcoming gigs before we go to makan-makan. Ah, uh, kenapa? Sebab I'll tell you later. But first, bila aku cakap was hot in February sebab banyak gig in the month of February itself. So one of which you boleh tahu falls on the same date juga. So kita akan start dulu on the first half of this review because we will be reviewing on episodes to come. First, kita ada 29 Februari 2020 GG Fest. Lama kan tak dengar nama tu. GG Fest established way back in 2007. This show will be happening in Panggung Asia Super Early Bird. Ticket price eh Super Early Bird RM40 at the door will be RM60. We have bands, we have special guests from The Seberang, Close Be Closet and our comeback band Hello This Is The Band, Jameson Restrain as our throne Purba Wara It shit and die, Madeline, Dead Eyes Glow, Kids on the Move, Farasu, Esclave, and a million evil faces. So jangan lepaskan peluang ini to catch the return of JG Fest, Panggung Asia, 29 Februari 2020. And also on the same date, kita nak pusing-pusing sikit dalam Malaysia ni. Kita ada di Rockwella, Dataran Lakin, Johor Baru, 29 hari bulan juga. Dekat door, RM15. Does that ring a bell to all my southern brothers and sisters? Rockefellers, Hummingbird. New single launch. That's right. Shout out to my bros from uh, Hummingbirds. All right. So featuring opening acts that are the Laura, Biko Abidin, Brown Closet, Wana, and the Something. Apa the Something tu? Pergi lah. Show tu nak tahu Something tu apa kan? So once again, Rockefeller Hummingbirds new single launch. Tarikh yang sama, February 29, 2020, di Rockefeller Dataran Lakin JB. And one more. Before we go makan is in case release party. All right. So in case releasing the brand new material with Free in case cassette untuk 10 early bird. 10 orang pertama akan dapat cassette percuma. Where happening at Rumah Api tiket berharga RM20. Supporting in case are Sasau, Tape Fools, The Kiowas, The Range Properties, The Hard Crops, Silent Retract, Black and Blues and The FN T. So that guys, tu baru tiga saya tahu. Yang bertarikhkan 29 Februari 2020. So we've got more to come in uh, later episodes about February 29th itself. But first, let's just stop here. We're gonna jump in into our food review. 
Yo, as you all probably know, yang mana tahu last week punya episode, we couldn't get food because hujan lebat and we couldn't shoot in tapak. But due to the fast thinking of my team from High Castle Studio and The Big Talk, we managed to get the food and drinks. Sebab dah hujan dekat tapak. So we got the food and drinks on the table in the studio. So this is, kita akan start with refreshments dulu sebab, you know, been talking a lot. So I wanna like wet my throat, uh, basahkan tekak. So these two drinks eh, on my left hand and my right hand are from a famous Famous coconut shake food truck. On my left, kita ada the original coconut shake. On my right, kita ada dragon fruit shake. Both top with vanilla ice cream. It's not really visible. Tak nampak sangat sebab aku dah kacau. Nampak tak degil yang nak su take over kat situ. So, aku nak try dulu. Maybe we'll go for the original. Let's go coconut shake. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hmm. Mm -mm. Some might say, or most of you might say, uh, coconut ni sedap, shake tu sedap, but this is really good. Ini pun, I guess if you say, if I say manis dia dah terlebih because I dah gaul dengan dia punya vanilla ice cream, but gaul ko tak gaul, the manis is just nice. So, kita jump on to um, this uh, dragon fruit shake. Let's give it a try and see what's up. Ah, guys, yang ini lebih merasakan uh, rasa dragon fruit dia. So, it's natural. The mixture is... Uh, ada yang might say you mix uh, a bit of uh, this is extra, kurang buah but no. Dragon fruit dia, tip top. So, dah basahkan tekak. Kita prepare untuk makan. And in front of me, it's special dishes made from 8th Street Cafe food truck. Alright, so kita ada kat sini the uh, beef burger mac and cheese and the uh, cheesy bacon fries. Ni untuk tunjuk je. So I have to turn it around. So I mean like you guys, you know what to do lah. Just drool. Tengok je lah. So I'm gonna test, uh, ni kira appetizer lho. I'm gonna test this first. I'm gonna put this down bagi korang nampak. So this is the uh, bacon cheesy fries. Let's give this a try. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mm. As you guys can see, fries, cheese, bacon, a good number of portions. Tidak kedekut. It's good, man. The cheese melts in your mouth. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so dark, guys. I'm gonna have to put it aside. Let's try this main course kejap. I got this is the beef burger, mac and cheese. We just start with the mac and cheese, yeah. Kalau boleh nampak, eh, the amount of mac and cheese dalam ni memang. Mm -mm. Oh yes. Mm. So guys, you can see, I might get a bit messy here. But I'm just gonna try. Kita akan try the daging dulu. Okay guys, daging dimasak sepenuhnya. It is cooked through. You can see, let me just taste this one time. Oh yes guys. Oh yes. Combination. The sauce yang ada dalam ni. Very nice. Uh, a well balanced uh, of uh, masin. The sweet in it. Pedas tak ada, but it's still good. If you want pedas, maybe korang boleh tambah sendiri kat rumah ke apa. But this is good, guys. So, guys, aku tak ada masa nak habiskan benda ni depan korang. You know, let's uh, wrap up this episode kali ni. Untuk review ni, because... I'm happy finally I got to eat and review. I'll see you guys next week. Tengok kita makan apa pula. But first, kita lompat dulu. Trigger section is next. Think big. And perfectly cool. Hey, what's up? Uh, inilah trigger section yang di mana I like to call Think Big. Uh, think Big, trigger section, trigger section, Think Big. Okay, this particular segment, as usual, we like to talk, aku suka bora or, uh, on what's current. So, what's current is, after aku notice something and I saw something, I had a discussion lah with a few people. Quite a number of people lah kan. Bora, 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 bora. We have come to this term of this particular segment where we want to declare it as Ben Biskut. Apa Ben Biskut? Walaupun tadi dah tengok makan, kenapa ada makanan lagi? Jangan risau. Ni bukan makanan. Ben Biskut. Alright, Ben Biskut. Kejap pada. Kejap tak ada. That's why kita panggil band biskut. Kejap this band, kejap ada balik. Ah, you know, this might be a bit too heavy on the topic. But after discussion with people, aku nak discuss ni dengan korang yang menonton. Alright, so aku perasan sekarang orang guna ayat rest in peace aka this band untuk buat cheap marketing. Please be aware, please be reminded, this is a topic discussed with a lot of people juga. With the people yang aku nak discuss. So, this is what we've come up with. Uh, we just want to highlight this out. So, like I said, kita notice orang pakai uh, rest in peace, rip, disband ke apa ke untuk buat cheap marketing. You want to get someone's attention. So, orang tanya-tanya, eh, kenapa disband? Best kot band ni, blah, blah, blah. You have that, you akan trigger the fans. Yes, you got the attention. Good job on that part. Okay, so, next is, 
Why? Kenapa perlu buat ni? Alright. Is it along the line of cheap marketing? Or do you think that your band's not famous enough even after years and years and tiba-tiba you announce such things? And thirdly, it, it, oh lama, datang sudahlah saya punya tetamu khas. Tom! Tom pun marah ke? Dengan band biskut? Tom marah dengan band biskut. So Tom sit down. Tom sit down. Kita discuss band biskut. Duduk Tom. I don't have a biscuit for you. Let's carry on. Kita repeat balik. Cheap marketing, band tak cukup famous And thirdly, yang aku nak cakap ni Because of this day and age, adakah sebab anda nak viral Whereas korang mengharapkan viral ni will benefit you Ingat eh, viral ada positif dengan negatif So let's jump on into certain points Yang aku rasa kita boleh bincangkan di sini Number one, adakah anda nak famous cepat? Ah, Untuk topik tadi yang aku sebut a few seconds ago Kalau anda rasa tak famous Maybe you've tried enough, long enough Oh maybe korang tak ada kesabaran. Kita tak tahu. We don't know. So, if per se korang ni dalam golongan yang tidak sabar. So, here comes the point nak famous cepat. Alright. So, sorry to say but to me, band yang guna strategi ni is to have quick fame or glamorous to have or attract attention pada orang lain. Because when you do that, you get the attention and where do you go from there? So if you think band korang tak cukup famous, lepas tu korang jenis tak sabar nak jadi famous, jadi keluarlah idea sebegini. Some might say it's a good idea but we have to be wary juga dengan dia punya outcome, reception. So, social media in terms of maybe tweeting or sebarkan dekat mana-mana lah. Alright, so yang korang dah disband atas sebab-sebab tertentu dan tak sampai berapa bulan, Eh, come back! Come back again, ha, come back again. So, think about it guys, think about it. Bila jadi macam tu, kita lompat kepada point seterusnya. Orang akan atau takkan pandang band kau, itulah persoalannya. So, orang takkan pandang tinggi pada band kau kalau kau guna strategi macam ni. Lagi orang mengata adalah such as the world today. Okay, kepada band yang pernah buat macam ni. You know who you are, tapi fikirlah balik impact pada band kau. Because at the end of the day, a family, a band is a family, a family is a band. Okay, it reflects setiap seorang punya, orang kata reaction or perception. If lima-lima ni agree, untuk say, sorry to say, we have to end our journey here. Sak! Enam bulan, we have decided to make a comeback. Check out our latest single, blah, 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 blah. Boom! Here comes the views, here comes the follows, here comes the friend request or what not. Menjadi kan? But still, but still, the impact that you bakal dapat eh, Tom, kenapa ni Tom? Dia marah betul dengan band Biskut. Tapi tak apa Tom, marah tak apa. Let, let Big do the talking. Alright? So, like I said, impact yang kau dapat, you know, it can be both positive or negative. Tetapi, I guess, in my opinion of what I've seen in my own four eyes, banyak lagi yang negative. Maybe korang, whoever's doing it, dah biasa hadap or tebal muka. As long as the, the, the fame comes, the likes comes, sharing, retweeting comes, happy dah. You're happy that way. Damn, man. I don't know what to say. Oh, aku rhyming tadi. Dia duit jadi rapper ke? Tak tahu. So, dekat social media, orang duk mengata tweet pasal band korang. Tak payah tweet lah. Kadang-kadang IG story ke Facebook story, Facebook status. Tak rasa malu ke? That's what I said untuk mereka yang tebal, tebal muka keras kepala tu. Korang punya malu kat mana? I mean, to those who are doing it, the people that I've discussed this with, semua tanya benda yang sama. Tak rasa malu ke? There might be some other comments or your own opinions. Voice them out, comment on the comment section, you know, nak DM I, expresskan benda-benda ke apa. Go ahead. Because right now, kita nak jump to our last point, which is cancer di dalam scene. Why I say cancer? Because it can spread. Boleh terjebak kepada band-band lain. Alright, so band lain most likely atau mungkin akan terikut so benda dia jadi macam wabak untuk scene kita. Alright, so quality will drop or quality drop instantly. Nak famous terus buat cheap marketing macam ni. So, it creates a question of why, you know, uh, why lah. Question paling besar, why you do it? Eh, kenapa korang buat macam ni, blah, blah, blah. Your fans will question you. If not your fans, your peers will question you. Alright? So, band baru to them, diorang akan terikut sebab benda ni trend, sebab benda ni boleh bagi diorang instant like, follow back, shares, retweets. So, is it good for our scene? Bagus ke untuk scene kita ini? Semestinya tidak. You know guys, because at the end of the day, it's about educating not discriminating. Alright guys? So please again, educate, not discriminate, do not hate. Courtesy kena ada because you know what's good. We have to know what's good for the scene. Orang sekeliling kita because the impact that might happen positive 
Kita bersyukur. Negatif, you never know benda tu akan impact kat siapa, di mana. Bila-bila boleh jadi and it's not good guys. It is not good. And with that being said, aku akhiri segmen ini of the big talk with a reminder, beringat-ingatlah selalu, alright? Dream big, think big, go big guys. Subscribe High Castle Studio on YouTube and check us out the big talk setiap Kamis 9 malam every Thursdays 9pm. It's your boy Brother Big showing love and I'm out. Peace. Hey yo, it's your boy Brother Big. I just want to say thank you for watching The Big Talk. All right, I'm very appreciative. If you want to know more updates and info of The Big Talk, please subscribe and hit the button on High Castle's YouTube channel.